Hi, uh, Aquarius. We're going on to the fixed signs now. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus. Um, Aquarius, stable and persistent, it says here. Um, we're doing your general reading for the 9th to the 15th of May. Really appreciate you being here. If you could, like, share, subscribe, that'd be absolutely wonderful. Um, but I appreciate you being here regardless. Um, let's get straight into it, shall we? Wow, straight with a big hitter. Justice, that is what it is. It's really simple. Um, five of Wands. It's crossing you. Fool in the near past. Always like to see that. Seven of Pentacles in the near future. Like to see that as well. This is working really nicely so far. Subconscious, beautiful Queen of Wands. That's great energy. Great, great energy. First time we've seen him. Destiny on the Wheel of Fortune. On the bottom of the deck, the Judgment card. That, that came up a lot last week. I wasn't expecting to see it quite so much this week. Um, but there it is. So we'll talk about this first, then we'll get into the staff, shall we? So the Justice card is, is straight up, you know, straight down the line. Um, you will be judged. You know, she can't be swayed. She's wearing a veil. You know, the, the light of truth just blasts out behind her. I mean, I don't even know how they printed this. Now I'm a graphic designer. It looks like it's lit up. It looks like it's got a battery behind it. It's a, a bulb just incredible just incredible but she's got the scales in one hand and the sword in the other you know you, you will be you will be tested and then it'll either be um what's the word mercy or punishment so you know just do the right thing that's what i always think you find a wallet and it's got a thousand dollars in it take it to the police station you know they'll they'll um take the details and if no one claims it you'll get the money in three months but someone will come in and claim it i'm sure they will you know, don't just put it in your pocket or take 500 out. I mean, all of those things don't serve you. In the short term, you think you've got money. In the long term, karma just comes to bite you on the ass. So, you know, and also, I kind of think Aquarius, you know, my brother was an Aquarian. And the last thing he would do, he would find someone's wallet and, and just hand it in over the bar or take it to stop what he was doing and go straight to the police station and hand it over. Um, anyway, crossing that energy, we've got the Five of Swords. This is, you know, you're the Gandalf staff in the middle and everyone's breaking against you. It's it's like there's a bit of challenge, there's a bit of conflict, but <laughs> good luck trying to beat that. Aquarius, you've got this all day, every day. Near past the Fool, that's all about jumping in with both feet. Um, you know, just going on the adventure. Just, just go for it, literally just go for it. And then in the near future, you've got this lovely card. Um, the seven of pentacles six of these are on this this scale here it's been balanced against what's required and then there's a lovely coin down at the bottom as well so it's all it's the fruits of your labors basically so people are noticing that you're doing a great job or if you're in a relationship they're noticing you're a great partner um and it, it can be seen it can be very literal it's like i really liked it when you did this 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 and this it's a very it's a very literal response to something in a more traditional deck there's a farmer kind of leaning against a big stick or his hoe or whatever, looking at the fruits on, on the bush as if like, ta-da, have I done a great job? What he does warn us is, yes, you've done a great job. Now get now move on, you know, get them harvested and move on to the next thing. Uh, Queen of Wands has got a peacock on her head. So, you know, beautiful. It's To me, I would say this card is magnetic. It's a magnetic energy. It draws people in. So you're very attractive at this moment. You're you're very you're very eye catching, which ties in with the seven. People are seeing you. That's what I mean by that. They're seeing you. And at the top there, in this deck, it's called Destiny. In a more traditional deck, it's the Wheel of Fortune. So the head of the matter is, you know, there's two, there's two arguments about fate. One is there's nothing you can do about it, and fate's going to come in and knock you sideways. The other is that you know. There's a classic phrase which I think um, Zane uses it. Zane Intuitive Guidance, another reader, one of the tarot readers I follow. He's really good, by the way. Well worth checking out. Um, he talks about the Wheel of Fortune, you know, the train is in the station, get on the train. And I'm like, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense to me. Even to the point where you get to the station and there's three trains and you go, I don't know which one to get on. What do we do? What do we do? It's like, you get on the train, but which one? Doesn't matter, you just get on the train. You just need to go to the next part of your journey, development, life, experience, whatever. Say you get on a train it's taking you to the seaside and you go, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go to the mountains. Well, get off at the next station, get on the other train that takes you back and then go to the mountains. You know, it's not, 
you're not trapped on a train, aren't you? You can get off at the next station, cross over and come back the way you came. So very much the head of the matter is, yeah, there's a decision to be made. There's a train in the station. You need to take the train. And that leads you to a fantastic resolution. You do that and it's going to be great. Two peas in a pod. These are jumping out of their own universes into each other's. It's a real, real commitment energy. It's the end of hostilities. Really positive card. It's one of my favourite cards in this deck, actually. <coughs> it's beginning to grow on me a lot. <coughs> so you've got the two of cups. That's how you see the situation. Other people see the situation as the ace of wands, which is the new start you've got on the train. It's a new start with real energy and passion, yeah? Real commitment to it as well. And then <clears throat> hopes and fears are um, the Eight of Swords. I'm going to just read it as I do in this deck always. This is, the, they call it the Crucible card in this deck. You know, you're trial by fire. And you're that sword in the middle there that's, that's sort of melting under the heat. But you're not. You're surviving. It's the other one that's failing. This one here is failing. You're you're standing up and being counted. There's all there's all these others in the background there waiting for their turn. You're the only one that's brave enough to kind of step into this. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, if if the boss said, right, I want to see everyone in the office one at a time, who's first? You're the sort of person that goes, I'll go first. And everyone goes, ooh, check them out. You know, real ballsy energy. Really good, really good to see. Uh, that's great. And your outcome is temperance, balance, just finding the balance in something. And because the energy at the bottom is the... Um, right. I always I always put the cards in like this. That's how I angle them. And that seems to be pointing at this. <coughs> and judgment and justice are, are pretty much the same thing. In the cold light of day, you know, you would be judged, you know, fairly and squarely. There'd be no getting away from it. She's pointing at someone and she's got the spear in her hand ready to throw at them. Um, she's also got the crown, so she's she's suffered herself, <coughs> and power has been no help. And also, she's pointing to this scar here where it's starting to heal. So she's saying, you know, I've been wounded as well. So they're putting you on the same kind of level playing field. So I think it's gone judgment, justice, temperance. So I think next week, Aquarius, really, really simply, um, there's a new adventure coming, so you need to jump on board. If you do, it's fantastically um, successful. And even, I think this near pass card as well, the Fool to me is probably, it's going to be the early part of next week because the Fool is exactly the person that jumps onto the train to the point where he gets to three trains and goes, fantastic, which one should we go for? And they just flip a coin or they go, well, I like that one because it's, cleaner longer shorter you know nearer further you know it doesn't matter what the reason is that the fool will just go oh let's have the middle one and they just get on the middle one and go and it ends up working out really really well really really well let's have a look yep uh three of cups on top of the two so you've got celebration joy result fantastic um <clears throat> you're going to go really should i jump on this train you know i'm worried about this the nine of swords is the nightmare card but it's not real those are rose petals coming out of the um rabbit and that's a glass sword it's a dream it's not real you're worrying unnecessarily should i get on the train or not damn right you should get on the train um and you know why this is the four of wands the four of wands is about freedom celebration and freedom you've got Joyful, abundance, end of hostilities, celebration, celebration. You start with passion and enthusiasm. But it's, to me, it's just celebration, celebration, celebration. All you need to do is just be honest. Yeah, If you're absolutely authentic about what you want to do next week, just do it. Yeah, So don't let anyone else tell you. You know, If there's a company due coming up and you really don't want to go because it makes you anxious and, and it, it, it's not for you, just tell people, you know. That's not for me. I get too anxious. Do you know what? Everyone will go, that's not a problem at all. That's great. Which which results in a celebration because you just go, oh, thank goodness for that. Or someone will go, I tell you what, why don't you come with me and I'll hold your hand and I'll look after you and you go and you have a great time. You know what I mean? So it, it's just about being honest about how you feel about a situation and then that will drive that situation forward. And the temperance card is all about balance. The, the whole yin and yang thing. So yeah, really, really good week next week, Aquarius. Have a good one. I'll see you next Sunday for more of the same.